How's it going everybody? My name is Chase. I'm Dylan. And together, we're Project Today. Today we're at the beach in Morro Bay, California. And it's kind of a cloudy day outside, pretty windy. You know, not the best beach conditions, but we're gonna make the most of it and have an epic beach day. Let's grab some fun. Like we said, we are in Morro Bay. This is Morro Beach. That is Morro Rock. So you can tell they really like Morro here. And one thing that's really cool about today is we literally don't have any plans. We're just out here having fun, enjoying the day. And I just have to say, there is something so incredibly uplifting about the freedom to be able to have days like this in the truck. This is one of the reasons why we are living van life in the first place, the freedom to have days like this we're just out here having fun and even though it's somewhat cloudy it's kind of chilly out it's just so much fun you know one nice part about the wind is when the other person doesn't want to play frisbee you can just play by yourself <laughs> way off camera way off camera <laughs> Hey, you got it, you got it. We need the TV light right, right there. The wind is so strong. Let me try, let me try. Dill, what you doing over here? I'm reading. I just found this spot kind of in the sand dunes, I guess. This beach is cool because it has, it's very long from the water to the parking lot and there are these a bunch of sand dunes with grass or other plants growing on them and hidden in here there's no wind although it's very windy on the beach here the wind is gone so just been sitting here enjoying the book <laughs> Woo! all right the sun is starting to go down a little bit it's getting in kind of chilly out here might be time to put a shirt back on and i think i'm gonna go get dylan and we're gonna walk back to the truck <laughs> <sighs> we are back in the truck and we are covered in sand along with everything else that we brought out to the beach today <laughs> luckily we have a broom and a vacuum to get the sand off our truck it's even in my hair <laughs> i intentionally did not get my hair in the sand so that i wouldn't have that same issue then there's me jumping into the sand, trying to catch a frisbee, diving into the sand. More than you even saw because most of them were like failed catches. So maybe we'll <laughs> play those for you now so you can see some of those. Yeah. It's also warmer and considerably <laughs> less windy in the truck. True. Now we're going to cook a new dinner that I haven't tried before. Excited for that. I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm not cooking anything. It's, it's all dill. So pass this on the dill. Tonight we're going to be cooking pad thai. Now in one or two previous videos, I've talked about how in the van, I really want to learn how to cook. It's one of the skills for this year, for 2021, that I really want to focus on. I've cooked a little bit in the past, but never too seriously. So this year, I really want to get good at cooking. And that comes from trying new recipes, often. So shout out to my girlfriend, Veronica, for giving me this recipe for the pad thai. I'm gonna make this tonight. You heard him say girlfriend. That's right, he has a girlfriend. We are both straight. Lots of people asked in the comments section if we're a couple, we are not. <laughs> Everyone on TikTok thinks we're a couple. Everybody. <laughs> we're not, we're both straight. <laughs> just friends. Could be a pretty cute couple though. <laughs> Jeez, you're just gonna feed into the, I know, the narrative I know. I shouldn't, online. I shouldn't have said it, dude. I shouldn't <laughs> have said it. I take it back. Delete it, cut that, cut that. The first part of making this pad thai is creating the sauce. The sauce is made up of soy sauce, lime juice, sriracha, brown sugar, um, I'm looking at my recipe, and vegan fish sauce. I'm gonna heat it up now. I know this isn't the most effective tool to, to mix this together, but you know, save yourself some dishes. While the sauce is cooking, we're gonna boil some water for the noodles. Now we're draining the pasta. 
And then next we're pretty much putting everything in a big bowl and mixing it all together. That part sounds like something I could do. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can. Onion, mushrooms, bell peppers, and broccoli. Now some big stuff, the tofu. Tofu, boom, and the noodles. Noodle! A lot of noodles. We, we're making a lot of pad thai tonight. Yep. Chase and I eat a lot. And finally, most important part, the sauce. Get it all in there, Dill. Get it all in there. Let me stir. Just to let you all know, I'm a semi-professional sous chef available for hire. Just drop a request in the comment section down below and I'll be there at your door, ready to sue like a sous chef does. I don't actually know how to cook anything other than a peanut butter and jelly though, so. <laughs> Our pad thai is done. Fully done. It looks good. Looks good, yeah. I'm excited to try it. Let's eat, let's eat, serve it up. I'm excited! Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's pretty good. It is good. It's hot. But it's good. It's very good. What a spectacular meal, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sous chef. Thank you, real chef. I think the sauce is good amount. Tofu is good. Next time I probably would put more veggies. So next, that's, you know, you learn every time. Next time will be better. And that is an exquisite van life dinner from Dill Truly. And Chase is sous chef. And some Monopoly Deal. If you haven't played Monopoly Deal, give it a try. It's really, really fun. Great card game. What are you gonna make tomorrow though? Anything fancy? Um, probably not. Tomorrow we'll be back to our normal, probably, probably rice and scheduled beans. scheduled rice and beans. <laughs> We'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. So far on this beautiful morning, I did a little workout. Just remember, here at Project Today, we don't skip light days. And Dylan went on a run, but I thought this would be a pretty cool time to show you where we're parked. We're not allowed to park at that beach that we were at yesterday, so we drove to this pretty cool spot nearby. I think you're gonna like it. Let's uh, go outside. The view out of the back of our truck is pretty spectacular. We have this awesome reservoir right here next to our truck and just over those, those hills right over there, that's actually the ocean. So we have this cool reservoir that feeds into the ocean and that's a pretty sick view to wake up for in the morning. Not a view we can get many other places in this country. California is a cool place. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. I'm out on a run, feel great. One of the main reasons that Chase and I decided to find a spot near this town and stay in here for a few days is that we have access to a hot shower. There's a public beach shower that gives two minutes of hot water for only 25 cents. That's amazing. A quarter for two minutes of hot showering? Wow, you, you can't beat that. That's unbelievable. So that's allowed us to get in a little routine of the past few days where I've been going on a run in the morning, Chase has been working out at the truck, and then he drives to the shower and I meet him there. Then we each take a shower and get on with the rest of the day. Really nice to be in a little bit of a routine after not really having one for this past month of van life. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my run. But first, look, I set up my phone like right there on that tree to record. Pretty cool. Also look at this view. This is where I'm running. So lucky to be here, so grateful to be here. Oh, hey, look who it is. <laughs> look who it is. Hello. <laughs> I got a nice warm shower in and now we're at a state park. And we're gonna go hike to the beach. Hiking to the beach, ain't nothing better. There's supposed to be a cool view of the ocean and some cliffs. So we're excited to go see it. Yeah, keep coming. Back, back, back. A little more. Okay, good. Perfecto. We are on the trail, on our way to an ocean view. 
we think the trail just kind of snakes around and at some point we're going to go up over these mountains and have a sweet view of the coast sounds lovely should be a much easier hike than the hot springs one because hopefully we won't get lost i think there's only one path here i don't think we can possibly get lost cut don't two. say that exactly don't cut. you dare say that don't knock cut on to, wood cut to 30 minutes later <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe you said that <laughs> Oh, I think there's no chance. This, <laughs> this state park has one trail on its map. This is the perfect type of state park for us. <laughs> if you haven't seen our last video where we hiked to a hot springs, got lost, but you know, eventually made it to the hot springs, definitely go check that out. There'll be a link in the top right hand corner of your screen. Now, real quickly, I just need to say, Dylan lied. Two pads here. This is the bathroom. I know, but you you said there was only one path, and there are clearly two paths. No, there's one path. Okay. There's one path. I guess we'll let it pass on this one. The ocean! There it is! We can see it. Hope you can hear us over the wind because it's time for a Dylan and Chase musical. I hope we don't get copyrighted. Soaring, flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Woo! That was beautiful, dude. Comment down below. Give us some song ideas. Maybe we'll sing them in, the, in future episodes. That, that was awesome. Yeah. And we know that you loved it. If it sounds bad, it's the wind. It's the wind. Right? It's gotta be. Obviously. It's gotta Obviously, be. yeah. One thing that I struggle with sometimes is thinking too much about the past or the future. But an experience like this of spending time on the cliffs, overlooking the ocean, exploring little tide pools close to the ocean, just feeling the, the wind and the sun on my face really makes me feel present. I've been trying for a year and a half to build a meditation habit or other, other habits that make me more present. But nothing is as good as just being out there in nature focusing on what's right in front of me. So this experience today was super revitalizing and I'm happy to be here in this present moment. Made it back to our beautiful truck. All right, well that was a nice four mile hike. Not bad at all. Didn't feel like that was that long. It was a nice just walk. Yeah, definitely. And now before the sun goes down, we're gonna head out, say goodbye to Harmony Headlands and go back to our parking spot. We'll see you there. And welcome back to our beautiful spot on Whale Rock Reservoir. I think that's what it's called. That's what it's called. We're gonna go to bed early tonight because tomorrow we're waking up very early before the sunrise. Yep. You heard that right. Luckily, we parked very close to the ocean. We're probably a eight minute drive from the ocean and we're gonna jump in the ocean at <laughs> sunrise. A few years ago, my mom introduced me to a group called the Happy Pair. If you've never heard of the Happy Pair, you should look them up on YouTube or Instagram or any social media platform. They're the best. Is it pear like the fruit or pear like? To pear, that's the fruit. Okay. <laughs> the Happy Pair, every day of the year that they are at home or have access to an ocean, they jump in the ocean at sunrise every single day. So it's February here. It's definitely warmer here than it is in Ireland where they're jumping in, but we're gonna jump in. We're excited for some cold water exposure, bright and early tomorrow morning to get the day started off right. 
we'll see you all at like 6 30 in the morning which uh, we've never seen you that early before so <laughs> this will be very very fun very very interesting see you then Good morning. It looks cloudy outside. I hope we can actually see the sun. Good morning. Ready, Chase? No. <laughs> I feel ready. Let's do it. I'm ready, Dil. I'm ready. It's early. Let's go. There it is. There's our beach. There's our chilly ocean. Are you ready to go meet our destiny, though? I can't wait. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Feel good? Feels so good. Jump in, jump in! Woo! <laughs> Woo oh my lord! How do you feel? Woo! Uh, I feel awake. I feel, <laughs> I awake. feel awake. Dude, it's cold. The sun is awake. We're awake. Woo! It truly feels amazing. Yeah. Oh my I'll go God. it again. Woo! Unbelievable. <laughs> it feels amazing. Feels so, so, so good. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. It doesn't even feel that cold, honestly. There's the jolt, of course, of going in the water, but then you get out or you even stand up from being in the water and you feel so good. So here in the moment. When I talked about being present yesterday, this is something that makes you feel extremely present because all you can think about is the, the cold water that you want to leave. <laughs> Shout out to the happy pair for all the inspiration. Really no better way to start a day than that, honestly. But it is pretty cold. I'm excited to go jump in the truck, dry off, and warm up a little bit before we actually start our day. I'm gonna go run five or six miles to warm up and then I'll meet you back in the truck. There we go. Woo! But yeah. We'll see you back in the truck. We'll be drier, hopefully warmer. <laughs> Ugh, can't wait, I cannot wait. <laughs> now we're back in the truck. We've showered, we're clean, warm, feel great. Starting the morning like that really just makes the whole day better because we have so much time today and we've already done something amazing this morning. And then the rest of the day is even better too, like, like being dry and in the truck and like warm. You appreciate that more because you started the day off like freezing cold shivering like crazy and uh yeah so it's much better now and we hope you all enjoyed the swim rise just as much as we did if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like on this video it helps us out a ton we're very grateful for every one of you who does that also comment down below remember any song ideas for like the next video for dylan and i to sing maybe drop those in the comment section down below otherwise just comment what you thought about this video if you liked it if you didn't like it all that kind of stuff those comments really do help us a lot as well and that's all we got for you. We love these vlog style videos. This one was a lot longer and we hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you all on Wednesday. We usually end the video with something cool that we do. What should we do this time? Okay, that was it. That was the cool thing. See ya.